The kind of art I create, I would call it more creature-based or creature design. It definitely will come from a love of animals. I don't do a lot of animals as they are, maybe put a twist on them and what happens if I add another eye? <laughs> what happens if I give that bear antlers? I don't know, just the, you know, you're mixing and matching or just completely creating something new. Something that isn't part of this world, something completely different. My name's Sarah, I go by Sarah Renee, and I do a lot of fantasy illustration uh, design, both digital and acrylic mediums. If we want to go all the way back to childhood, you know, doing little doodles all the way up till now, I've been doing it for the majority of my life. I was introduced to a lot of older fantasy films, and one that had stood out for me was a movie called The Dark Crystal. <laughs> You know, a lot of people thought, oh, this was, you know, this is scary. What are these creatures? And I was fascinated, just absolutely fascinated. And so ever since then, all those kind of things have really inspired me to kind of take a twist on normal, everyday things, creatures, and make it maybe a little bit weird, a little bit more fantasy. That was definitely like the one point where I realized, oh, this fantasy kind of thing, definitely a part of me. So for the longest time, I have stuck to acrylic. Acrylic is my love. More recently, within the last four or five years, I've gotten into digital medium, and that has created almost a whole new style. My acrylic paintings and my digital pieces are very different from each other. With my digital, I like to do very heavy line work, very detailed, while the acrylic may be more blocky. So the difference between, say, my acrylic paintings and the digital, the acrylic on canvas, it's right here physically in front of me. All my digital pieces, it's drawn essentially on a computer or any other device, and I can upload that either directly to the internet or to a website or print them out myself to be able to have copies that way. I have this love for, you know, and it sounds very silly, the smell of canvas, the smell of paint, just the physical aspect of it that really the digital can't compete with to me. And that's just personal preference completely. It kind of depends on what the end of goal is for me. What am I looking to do? Am I looking to hang in a gallery? Am I looking to make stickers? And you can still do either with both. I really enjoy creating the entire environment, providing a feel for the painting. It can be that deep, or sometimes it's just mindless. Sometimes I just want to create for the sheer sake of creating. There's no thought behind it, <laughs> and just going for more emotion and feel. I don't normally sketch out the entirety of the painting because I want some things to evolve as they're being created. And so I'll usually do one base color of what shape that subject is gonna be taking. And from there, I usually save that to last. I will create kind of the environment of the world behind it slowly. Again, I'm gonna add those layers in bit by bit. I like as I go along, adding certain things. Oh, wait a minute, let's put that. What if we did that? I could take it out if it doesn't work. <laughs> and so that's half the fun, I think, for sure. It is my absolute favorite thing to be doing because I still do you know, our nine to five job and whether I am getting ready for a show and you know, I'm planning to bring those paintings with me to potentially sell. That is not like a job to me sitting there and painting. Sometimes I will treat paintings as if it were a sketchbook where you're just hashing them out and you wanna see what comes out, get ideas. It brings me the utmost joy. The responses I'll get from my artwork are, um, they can be mixed. Usually nothing necessarily negative. One of my bigger pieces was a snake with 10 eyes and blue roses. 
And for some people, that's, what is that? And I remember they were whispering, why does it have 10 eyes? I'm like, just because it can, <laughs> just because it does. <laughs> and so sometimes there'll be responses like that. Oh, that's kind of weird. Or people are like, oh my gosh, this looks like this. Or like, how did you think of that? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> it is what it is. And so it's really exciting to talk to some people when I do show my pieces locally and actually get to meet face to face with some people. And we kind of talk about like what that reminds them of or what they think it is. And that's one of the best parts for me is what they interpret it as. And it's usually something I never thought of. And I love to hear what they are. <laughs> I enjoy the fact that my paintings and what I hope it does for people is challenge imagination just a little bit because I like to stretch that imagination just ever so much. <laughs>